here with Gretchen and Jake from Green Meadows Petting Farm. If you haven't been out here, you gotta come. It is located right off 80, right? Yes. Just, just kind of you get through Urbana and go kind of down the road a little bit. Exactly. What air, is this considered? Frederick? This it, is Iamsville. Iamsville. Yes. I Jamsville. Yes. For those of you who aren't from the area, <laughs> Iamsville. Tell me a little bit about Green Meadows. You guys have been a part of this community for how long? Yeah, so um, Jake would probably be the better one to talk about that. Uh, we've been a part of this community. We've been open here since 2005. Okay. So ever since then, we've been open to the public here in, in the Urbana area, but we have had other locations around the country. Oh, wow. Uh, I didn't previously. know that. Yeah. Holy cow. So. Okay, so you kind of took the idea of the, what do I like to call it, agritourism or agri-entertainment, mm -hmm. and yeah. you have been other places and came here? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. We were, uh, uh, my dad's grew up on the original farm okay. uh, outside of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. A few of his brothers have started up other farms around the country. We Very did a lot cool. of uh, uh, satellite location type stuff in the 80s and 90s and um, through the different field trip, the changes in the field trip yeah. industries, we've kind of shrunk down to a few locations that are just a little bit bigger instead of more locations that are smaller. Right, right. Yeah. That is fascinating actually to me because I think the farm industry that shifted to kind of make money from the public mm -hmm. when they weren't farming or doing whatever, I mean I think it's awesome. So you kind of got this formula now and you've been able to rubber stamp it, make it yeah. successful. Yep. Um, the farm itself, tell yes. me a little bit about why people would want to come here. Okay, so, well, first of all, it's a beautiful property. We have about 125 acres. Okay. Now, all that's not the petting farm, but we do crops, things like that throughout the year. But when you come to the farm, it's an all-inclusive. You get your feed in certain areas, you get a hay ride, you get pig races, which are very entertaining, especially with the new little guys we have right now, named after Taylor Swift. I love it. Getting on that bandwagon, okay? <laughs> um, but we have so many different types of animals. We have kangaroo, a wallaby, uh, a bison named Cody. You're speaking my language. I lived in Australia for eight years, perfect, so I love perfect. to see that. Yeah. So we have those guys. Um, you know, everything from chickens to cows, normal farm animals, yeah. donkeys. We yeah. have a huge Belgian draft named Max. Oh. But um, we do let people really get up close with our yeah. animals, um, touch them, pet them. Yeah. And uh, we also have the ever so famous corn bin. That okay. It's like a big ball pit, but yeah. <laughs> it's corn. And, you know, I know the parents love it, but yeah. the kids yeah. sure do. Yeah. So, yeah. And look, it's, you know, for a lot of people who may have moved up here from the city or D.C. or even, you know, parts of Montgomery County who've never had access mm -hmm. to see cows or calves or goats. I mean, I, I, my kids came here for a field trip 15 years ago maybe and I have pictures of them holding baby goats here mm -hmm. you know what I mean so yep. I think that access to animals is so important for it kids is. Absolutely. Um, and then hopefully to teach them and they learn about farming and mm -hmm. where their food comes from and mm -hmm. where where stuff that they're eating comes from which is Absolutely. really great what would you say is the best thing about Green Meadows the best thing about Green Meadows is as soon as you walk through our front gate you just feel a community or family. Yeah. And we also, we, we do educate yeah. adults and, yeah. and children. And that is so important because, yeah. you know, we need to learn to be kind to each other and yeah. our animals. But I really, we have visitors that have come back year after year after year. Mm. And we really, really try to yeah. just get to know our visitors. So Now, uh, are you, is it seasonal? So are you guys here all year? I mean, I know you're here all year, but is yes. it open yes, to the I public am. all year? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, we are open from our Easter weekends, which started two weekends ago mm -hmm. on the 16th, okay. all the way through October. October, okay. and then we have um, a special Santa's Fest oh, fun. where we have Santa Claus, we have Elsa in a snow globe, oh, um, a nice. real life Elsa. Oh, I love it. And we also have the Grinch comes, yeah. a lot of vendors, but yeah. um, it is it has turned at, over the years, it's turned into a pretty a year-long yeah yeah, yeah. Expanding. It, expanding expanding the it, season it, a little exactly, bit. exactly. Um, what would you say the biggest challenge is for having a business like this? <sighs> the 
just trying to keep uh, keep everything done in a way that's uh, a, that that's appeal that there's appeal to people that don't know what they're seeing. Okay. You know, like, so the, there's the, the normal farming way, and then we have to make it, we just have to find a way to make accessible it accessible to the, pub to, <laughs> for the public to be able to see and understand. And yeah. So that, that's usually our biggest challenge. Is yeah. And I would say, too, like uh, a farming family, when you open things up to the public, that mm -hmm. there are things you have to consider and watch out for right. and, and all of that mm -hmm. that you wouldn't have to normally. Um, any particular goals that you guys have for this year that you'd like to achieve? Um, well, we, uh, my father-in-law, Ken Keyes, who is the owner of the farm, uh, he started a couple of years ago doing Barnyard Band and Booze, which is a nighttime event the first um, Friday of every month Okay. Um, during our summer season yeah. uh, through November, I believe, October. Yeah. October. Yeah. So we have started doing more nighttime events. They're called barn dances. Okay. So we're trying to expand on that. I love it. And um, just branch out a little bit more for corporate events, uh, things that we can do maybe when the farm's not open, but more adult oriented gotcha. and let them enjoy. So the building we're in right now, mm -hmm. and I, I'm gonna take some, show some video of it. It's beautiful. So this is available for people to rent? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. and yeah. so if people wanted in from in, it's great. How, what's the capacity for in here? Oh uh, gosh. I think 120, yeah, 125, somewhere, say. somewhere in that ballpark. It, yeah. There's a little wheel room because we can open up the doors, right. yeah. the outside, be inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it'd be great. Yeah, can. exactly. Mm -hmm. It's really, really gorgeous. So, um, if people wanted to reach out to you about renting, mm -hmm. um, obviously uh, want to know information about the farm itself, where do they need to go? Um, so, the best way is to go onto our website, mm -hmm. which is um, greenmeadowsculturalevents.com. Okay. Okay. We also have a Facebook page sure. um, yeah. all of the socials yes but that is the best way to get a hold of our wonderful um, office ladies Lori and Debbie and they will they'll let you know what yeah what it's going for yeah awesome but I mean you know space like this mm -hmm. in, a, in an environment like this would be mm -hmm. great and uh, yeah so we're looking forward to the barn dances I'm gonna yes. have to come out for yes. that one uh, we'll come back for that if you wanted people to know one thing about Green Meadows what would it be? You have to come out and experience it. <laughs> it's, it's hard yeah. to put into words because yeah. I've had people go, oh, it's a petting zoo. No, yeah. it's no, not a petting really. zoo. Yeah. It's yeah. Um, so much more. Yeah, come out, enjoy being outdoors with your children. Yes. Take them, take them away from the TV for an afternoon yes. and mm -hmm. come out and enjoy the animals, the outdoors, yeah. Yeah. all the just the food that you know do you guys I, have like a like a season pass or do, something yeah. like that we do have oh, an annual do pass annual pass yes mm -hmm. okay and um that is good all season long nice uh and that is and that includes our events so okay. if for barnyard band and booze if you have an annual pass you get them for that for santa fest for our oh. easter events so it's not like, oh, excluded. Trail Jack Trail Jack right. in, in yeah. So if you've got events, kids, yeah, mm -hmm. get them the experience as a gift. Yes. Get them an experience. Get them an annual pass. This is a perfect time to do it. you got the whole rest of the summer, the whole summer, yep. to, yes. to enjoy it. And they're going to get so much out yeah. of it coming out here. Plus, they're going to run off some energy. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We will make tired. sure of it. <laughs> They'll fall asleep on the way home, I yes. guarantee it. Yes. All right. Well, we really appreciate oh, the time. You. Gretchen and Jake, Green Meadows, go check them out. Come here throughout the summer. Get your annual pass. Yes. You'll thank us later. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon.